Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to update a new Get package in your project in Visual Studio 2012. Although I'm using Visual Studio 2012, the process is almost identical in 2010. NuGet is a Visual Studio extension that provides a delivery mechanism to add packages stored in the cloud into your project. Typically, adding a component to your project would involve downloading an installer, running it, then adding a reference to the DLL in your project. You might also have to add something into your config file. NuGet manages this whole process for you. You launch NuGet either by right-clicking the references node in your project and selecting Manage NuGet Packages, or by selecting the same option from the Tools Library Package Manager menu. The NuGet window lists any packages that have already been installed and what you check online for additional packages to install. It is important that you keep your packages up to date. For example, packages are often updated to correct security flaws. You should therefore periodically check your new GET packages to see if any updates are available. Not all packages contain assemblies. For example, the jQuery libraries are delivered as new GET packages. As you can see, if I expand my scripts folder, the default jQuery library in a new ASP.NET MVC3 project is 1.7.1. However, if I locate the installed jQuery package, I can see that the 1.9.1 library is available. If I click the update button, you can see that my jQuery script libraries have been updated. There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how easy it is to update a new Git package in your Visual Studio 2012 project. There's no reason why you can't easily manage to keep your packages up to date. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another video soon.